All righty. What is Pro Football Focus? That is the number one football analytics data collection company in the world. They grade every player, every play. All 32 NFL teams pay for our services. Really is where everything starts in terms of what happened on a football field in the course of the season. So I'm trying to remember what was going on. Kyler, 18 touchdowns, 5 picks. What's our record? We're 6-1. and one. We got some upgrades. So we're hoping to win the Super Bowl this year. So Zach Allen keeps getting better. Harold Landry, our big addition. How's everyone's weekends going? Who, who's got the most exciting plans for this weekend before the fourth hits us? Bowl, we are in season three, is it? I've already lost track. We, we move so fast. Um, I think this is season three, right? Let's see, how many years of stats does Kyler have? Season four, jeez. Look at those touchdown to interception numbers. Okay, so we have the two and five Redskins. We just beat them actually. So we're playing Jacksonville at Jacksonville next week. I think we'll just we'll pick up, play offense there. Taking a car to the shop to get inspected. That's your entire weekend. I, I have a feeling someone has a more exciting weekend than that. Excuse me. And my friend put diesel in a Chevy Cruze. I really can't only imagine. I can't say I know out of experience what that would do to a Chevy Cruze. All right, someone's working. Someone's got to be going to a baseball game or something out there. Work and nothing. Sounds like you, Jack Barr. You put diesel in your Jetta on purpose? Sunday night prime time in Jacksonville. Here we go. Thanks for the follow. Nope, noob pro. Welcome to the channel where we're still playing Madden 19 despite Madden 20 coming out in about a month. So this Jags defense, let's see if they're still good four years down the road. They're four and three. They do have Trevor Lawrence at 92 overall now, so more of an offensive team. 
Rondell Moore. So we got some speed to deal with between him and Westbrook. Good tight. Oh, yeah. Good rookie tight end. Jeez. O-line's not bad. Josh Allen. Calais Campbell went back to Jacksonville after we had him for a year. Jerome Baker and Reuben Foster are their linebackers. Jalen Ramsey. God, he's only 26 years old, four years into this thing. That's so ridiculous. But we should be able to take advantage of A.J. Bouye. Safeties are fine. What do you guys think of the Texans that at uh, 17? Oh, someone just asked about the deep dive. Yeah, not as disputed. Gosh, Josh Allen closes fast. I feel like that was pretty covered up. They just pressed out all of my receivers. I had nowhere to go. Oh, we get, ooh, almost blocked. Thought it was gonna be the Bears. I think a lot of people are getting a little surprised that I haven't had the Bears yet based on my history with teams like that. More defensive oriented teams where I don't like their quarterback. Oh man, pressed A too late. that I'm just confused why that ball went where it did I'm very confused we'll get it Howard there you go People thought it was going to be the Panthers. I can't, I don't want to really tip tip anything away. I've already given so much away on Twitter with these pictures. You guys have guessed the last two based on the pictures. that first down up. Let's go read option. Uh, just kidding. Calais Campbell disrupted that thing. Gosh, he's still playing four years into this thing. He's like 36 years old.
Oh. Thank you for going to get that. That was dangerous to being picked off by Jalen. Oh, nice juke. And the truck. There you go, DJ. Oh, just send it. That's fine. Do a video of a 53-man all-time roster. I really don't want to put myself in that position because I pride myself on always knowing what I'm talking about, but I really don't know what I'm talking about if it's football before 2010. So I think I'm probably the wrong person to make that video. Now, I could make like an all-decade team when we get to 2020. That's something I could speak on. But I really don't have any strong opinions on how the modern guys compare to the the old guys. Gosh, we can't make a proper read on these read options. Also, are you kidding me, Madden? They have Jerome Baker as their edge rusher? God, this game is so dumb. And not only that, but he is killing it. I, I can't freaking play this game. It just <laughs> it takes all of the life out of me. Jack Barr, are you seeing this? You'd get kicked out of TFGO if you did this. This is a a, a, a one or a 218 pound off ball linebacker playing edge rusher and just running around my left tackle because he has speed. This is just so dumb. Ugh. What's up, Hokiam? Again! I'm literally about to just shut this off. I, I can't believe this game. It gets so hard to make content for this game when it's so, it just is so fantasy. It does not reflect real football at all. Why is he their edge rusher? It makes no sense. And how is he good?
Um, I did see the Madden rating scale. I thought about tweeting about it, but I think I've made my point that I've been doing that for three years. It still didn't see quite as exaggerated, seem quite as exaggerated as mine. I don't know. Classes are adjusted for the rosters for Madden 20. I can confirm that. I don't know if they were in the beta, but Swami said they would be. So I'll take his word on it. That was a nice little play. Ooh, all right. I do not know who you're talking about, Anthony McFarland. Who that? Oh yeah, I just remembered on our last episode we uh, we went and got Tyree Kill the the record. What's my favorite non-Packers player of all time? Hmm. I should probably be going hurry up here. Favorite non-Packers player of all time. That's a really tough question. Running back from Maryland. I will keep an eye on him. Next year's running back class is a ridiculous class, though, so I don't know if I would uh, double down on that bet. There's some really good running backs next year. I don't know if I can pick a favorite player. I mean, I like Phillip Rivers, Julio Jones, Carson Wentz. like Keenan Allen. Uh, 
Rondale Moore is pretty special. I think he could be better than... I think he could be like a T.Y. Hilton. I think he could be a lot better than Kenny Stills. No one will use a top 10 pick on a running back. Especially when the class is as deep as it is. I really don't think that's going to happen. You have to be a certain kind of stupid to pick a running back in the top 5 in my opinion. Especially in a deep class. Like even... Even Zeke. Oh. Even Zeke. Great player, but you can't tell me the Cowboys wouldn't trade him for Jalen Ramsey in a heartbeat. Who they could have had. <laughs> yes. Expired Fundy. I think I just answered that question. Oh! Oh, nice play. I just kind of threw that on a whim, but he was wide open. All right, we're looking clean right now. I feel like it always takes this first game to kind of get in a rhythm and figure out what we want to do for every episode. I just kind of jumped in here and started playing, but I forgot how fun this team is to use. Jeez. O'Brien Goodson. This team has a couple of my Packers players from TFGO. I am so ready for Madden 20 TFGO. I'm going to like restart making content for it, which is going to be a lot of fun. A lot of it will be on that new YouTube channel, TFG Plays. Some of it will be on TFG. What's the absolute highest I'm comfortable taking a generational talent at running back? Well, to be clear, I, I didn't necessarily have a problem with Saquon. Um, I mean, he's, are we talking about a generational talent like Zeke or a generational talent like Saquon? Because Saquon's an all-world, all-time great type of talent. He is the best grade I've ever given a prospect in my life. I thought Saquon should have snuck into the top five. Oh, no. That's picked. Of course it's Jalen Ramsey. That was just a bad throw by Kyler. But I did not think it was going to be a team that needed a quarterback picking second that took a running back when there was good quarterbacks on the board. Other than him, I would not take any any running back ever in the top 15 that's come out. You know, there might be specific situations where it makes a ton of sense, like if you really just have everything set and you need that running back. OJ Howard's finally having a good game here. Fournette, I would not have taken Fournette in the first round. Not in that draft class. When I loved Kareem Hunt. I loved Joe Mixon. 
That was a miserable pick. I would have taken Deshaun Watson if I was the Jags. And I didn't even necessarily love Deshaun Watson, but he did have a certain feeling about him. Nice catch. Yeah, McCaffrey is way better than Fournette. It's even getting to the point where you can make a case where he's a better runner. He's obviously better as a receiver. We always knew that. That was just such a... Like... In a, like, you talk about Bill Belichick's ability to, like, see league trends and, like, get ahead of the trends. Well, when the Jags took a running back that can't catch the ball out of the backfield, that was, like, the opposite. And they just, like... Not only not getting ahead of the league trends where you need guys that can catch the ball, but just, like, falling behind. It was well known at that point that you need a, a three-down back that can do everything. I wasn't super high on Christian McCaffrey either. But to be fair, I, I don't think he's a top 10 guy as a runner. But what he brings a, to, to the game as a receiver, he just he's just a top 10 most valuable back. There's analysts that make a case for Tariq Cohen to be a top 10 running back because of what he does as a receiver. There you go. Is that two for Isabella? Yeah, you gotta credit the Panthers. They saw something in Christian McCaffrey that most people didn't. disagree with you on McCaffrey's a poor man's Camara. They're different running backs to me. McCaffrey's a lot more explosive. And Camara's a much better between the tackles runner. conversation about Camara versus Christian McCaffrey is very interesting to me. <laughs> I think I would take... Oh, man, that is tough for me. Those two are so close. And they're so different. If I had, like, man, I, I can't make a decision on that. I think I would go Camara, but I trust Camara more in, like, third and two. If I need a first down, I trust him to find his way to the first down. Camara's more of, like, get him in space, like, more of a weapon type. I I think I would still take Camara, but it's really close. I don't think it's really worth having a debate about it. Camara's just I mean he's it's a great receiver, but he's just not the 
same mismatch problem as a receiver as as McCaffrey is. So I would take McCaffrey as a receiver. Both ha are just ridiculously good, though. R Lamar Jackson's a solid, like, Sixty fourth on my running back rankings. We're ready to sim in nineteen point five. I'll let someone else handle that. If they don't, I uh Maybe I'll do it. I'm pretty tired. Like, this stream's not going to be quite as long as my other ones. Go, Isabella. Oh, you're not catching him. That's his third touchdown in the game. Oh, there's no doubt about it, Josh. I don't know how you can even think otherwise. Like, just look at the Bears. They got rid of Jordan Howard, who's made two Pro Bowls or whatever because he couldn't catch the football. And the Bears are a smart, modern thinking team. The only real way to add value as a running back, honestly, is to improve the play of your quarterback. That's what the NFL is all about. So if it's one of 11 players that can help your quarterback play better, then that's what people want. They don't really care about Jordan Howard getting an extra yard per carry when you run the ball. That's just That doesn't really move the needle. Chris Ballard is definitely a top five GM in football. All right, what do we want to do here? I think we should sim ahead. We've played a lot. We're seven and one. Let's see how our computer can fare in a couple tough games, AFC games. We got the Titans this week. I think four games is probably what Tyree Kill gets. It's, that sounds about right. Thanks, Hookam. The NFL should absolutely not have a lottery like the NBA. The only reason the NBA needs a lottery is because if you get the number one overall pick, it is going to change the landscape of your team. Like, the NBA is just such a star-driven league. And tanking's an actual epidemic in the NBA where it's not in the NFL. Like, if we ever see, you know, week 16, week 17 teams, teams like actually actively trying to lose games, then we might even, we might need to think about it. But like, I'm pretty sure the Colts won a game week 17 when they could have got Andrew Luck, which is like the most extreme case. Like, they almost won their way out of Andrew Luck just by winning a week 17 game. Like, a meaningless game. Like, think about that. And then, like, last year, like, the Raiders won two of their last three and tanked them and anti tanked themselves out of the first pick. So, until that becomes an actual problem, we don't need a lottery. We just got whooped by the Titans, by the way. Jeez, Dak Prescott for the Titans. If I don't think Clowney will be a career Texan, why not trade him? 
because you're still a legitimate playoff contender this year. And what's a future second round pick for a team that wants to win right now? Trade him in the offseason. Do a tag and trade or something when you're ready to move on, when you've actually found someone to replace him. But right now they're just not ready. Let's see how we're, how are we doing on like stats and stuff. Kyler, good season. Tyreek. Harold Landry paying off for the defense. Seven sacks, six sacks for Zach Allen. Jamal Adams having a good year for us. Dak equals Mariota. Um, they're close. I think Dak has a much better pocket sense, and Dak will actually use his mobility in an annoying way that Marcus Mariota does not. That's the main difference for me. Dak will actually sense pressure before it gets there and start scrambling, whereas Mariota seems like a last-ditch effort to scramble every time. Wow, 16 nothing victory against the Colts. Clean game for Kyler, no picks. Two sacks for Zach Allen. For Sack Allen. You think Vaughn is OP in my roster? I don't know why you'd think that. He should be overpowered. You think he's overpowered in this? Wait till you see him in Madden 20. Upgrade for Kyler. Nice. Mm, I did not notice any improvements on the sim engine, unfortunately. Alright, so we got play the moments. Should probably take a look at our contracts. Vaughn, David Johnson's up. We're definitely paying Byron Murphy. I think that's actually about right. He has not really, you know, he's a 91 overall now, but he has not really become that superstar. Zach Allen, we're going to give him a mega deal. Because he's earned that. Give him about $18 million per year for six years. OJ Howard, we'll wait on him. Deontay Thompson hasn't really done anything for us. We gotta pay Isabella for sure. He's probably like a $13 million receiver with how he's played for us. Caleb Wilson, Christian Kirk. That whole draft class is up this year. We'll 
we'll wait on those guys. What's up, emo dude? All right, here we go. Play the moments. Five Discord notifications. What's going on in Discord? Oh, now people want to play Apex? Goose wants to play Apex. What team I'm going to do my first Madden 20 franchise with, as far as the rebuild is concerned? I'm kind of thinking Bengals. But I don't entirely know. Jags? Maybe. I mean, all you have to do with the Jags is get them a quarterback. Alright, so defense needs to stop. We'll skip that. Red zone takes some points. Let's do it. Lions. Lions are alright. The Lions are just kind of meh in terms of a rebuild. Late hit, ref. Bills wouldn't be bad, to be honest. thing with doing rebuilds is most of the teams in the NFL are like pretty good now I feel like most teams kind of have their quarterback situation yeah I'm kind of leaning bills at the moment there you go touchdown baby Ravens would be fun make Lamar Jackson good after I've only ripped on him I have determined that yes, I will be doing a Madden 20 roster just for Xbox. I don't trust EA's ratings. I mean, they make a video game where we just witnessed, I don't know why I just played that, but we'll just, I'm distracted. I mean, they make a video game where we just had to play against Jerome Baker, who is 6'3", 215, playing edge rusher consistently against us. So we're going to trust the company that makes that game to make a quality football roster? I don't think so. I will still be doing studs and duds. I, I made a note about what I was going to be doing for that. It's going to be some kind of hybrid. But it will still be happening. If anything, it will be better than it was last year. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing like a video podcast studs and duds that will also be uploaded as the fully inflated football podcast so that I think that's kind of what I was thinking for that or maybe not maybe it was still gonna be a separate video let, let me just pause for a second because I had I made notes on what my Sorry, I want to I want to talk with you guys for a second while I have you. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about the podcast. The the thing is the deep dives have kind of taken place over the summer. 
what I really need to do is start uploading my deep dives as the podcast so that I still have content there. I think that's what I'll do. Well, no, Brainiac, they were running a 4-3, and Jerome Baker was never listed as a defensive end. The only reason that happened is because of the rush end position in the depth chart. He was still an outside linebacker on their roster. Um, all right. So this is what I have for my schedule Like once the regular season hits. So I'm thinking doing a first reactions podcast on Monday morning. First thing I do when I wake up. Then I've got Tuesday, the power rankings video comes out. Then I get to work on the roster. Wednesday night at 5 p.m., I release studs and duds. So that we're going to have studs and duds be the same uh, or some something like what we had. Thursday, I release my picks on Patreon and do a live podcast at 5 p.m. to prep for next week. So we have, we have a reactionary podcast on Monday. And then we have a... A, a preluding podcast on Thursday that is actually a live video podcast on YouTube. And then on Friday, the goal Fridays is the goal is that I get a um, some kind of content out like a rebuild episode. That's what I have right now for my weekly plan. And then if I have time on like a Saturday to get a rebuild episode done, I could publish one on like Tuesday evening. Um, do a lock of the week tweet. Or, oh, just do a lock of the week. Well, I'll be doing all of my big picks on my Patreon. But because YouTube's cracking down on, on gambling, I, um, I'm going to have to go over to Patreon for that. All right. I'm I'm excited to have a, a more consistent schedule too. That's something I haven't always I haven't ever had on this channel really. Um, I, yeah, the podcast is fully inflated football. There, I haven't had a po I haven't uploaded in several months. I think I'll slowly start putting the deep dives up there though. I should just do that because I have um. It like gives you a certain amount of gigabytes per month, so I still have like all of my June gigabytes to use. I should just use those up and get those uploaded. All right, let's continue here. Sorry, we got distracted. Red Zone, let's play it. It's actually a pretty good game here. The podcast is on Spotify, it's on Google Play, it's on Stitcher. Should be on Pocket Cast, I think. Yeah, I mean, I think it's smart to upload those as podcasts because, uh, oh, get in. We'll take that. Because it's content that I've already recorded, and it's just, it's not going to hurt uploading them as podcasts. Yeah, YouTube took down all of my picks videos from last year because I was promoting my Bovada link, which I get. Um, but I wanna I wanna be able to promote that Bovada link because that's where I would tell people to gamble.
right, let's just play this red zone alert and we can get out of here with a W. What a game for Kyler. I wonder if he's going to be in the conversation for MVP here. Oh, no. He had to pay my bookie. Does that mean you were out of money? I just made all my futures bets. I am so happy with my futures bets this year. I couldn't believe the, the Rams to miss the playoffs was plus 275. Oh my gosh. Can we get worked harder against Nick Bosa? Jeez. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just sim to the end of the game. Hopefully we can get out of here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oof. All right, we hung on. Oh man, how did Kyler end up throwing a pick at the end there? That's disappointing. We'll take the win, but the stats were underwhelming. Yeah, Lucas, I more so meant I'm happy about the odds I got on my picks. Like, Kyler Murray to win Offensive Rookie of the Year at, at plus 250? Like, I would expect him to be like a minus 400 runaway favorite, wouldn't you guys? That seems like a no-brainer. Alright, so we're nine and two. You think Jerome Baker win defensive player of the year because he gets tackles and sacks? Let's see if he's in the in the voting for it. Kyler Murray, MVP number one. No, he's not. He's not in there. Am I going to let Vaughn's dev trait fall to quick? It's all going to depend on how he plays. I mean, I'm going to disagree with you, Lucas. I made a lot of money when I bet on the Eagles at 66 to 1 because I like their odds. I mean, it's it's based off of me thinking that they're better than what their odds are given. I mean, the NFL is a very random sport. So if I think if I think the Rams are a 50-50 team to make the playoffs and I see they're plus 275, then those odds are pretty good. That's my approach. I start with what I think they'll do and what I think the odds should be, and then I make those bets. I mean, I'm up. Let's see. I've been going two years in a row. My first year I turned 100 bucks into 2600 and last year I turned 100 bucks into about 800. So I'm not going to disagree with your approach, but I will continue to take my approach as well.
it's not like those are the only bets I make either. A lot of times I just, like last year, I just said the Jags aren't making the playoffs. Like, simply put. I didn't care what the odds I got on it were. I think it was about even. Uh, defensive rookie of the year, uh, the favorite, I think, was Nick Bosa. I took Ed Oliver for the defensive rookie of the year. Do I ever have a gut feeling bet? And did it work? Yeah, I have, I have gut feeling bets a lot. And I don't know what the success rate on them were. Um, let me try and think. I had a gut feeling bet last year. Um, I had a gut feeling bet on the Browns to beat the Ravens after the Ravens were on that big winning streak. I mean, it was cemented in how well Baker Mayfield was playing and how poor I thought Lamar Jackson was, but at that point I hadn't really formed a full opinion on Lamar Jackson. He was kind of rolling at the time, and I hadn't really had time to really analyze his game. And that was a bet that I said, like, there's really no reason for me to pick the Browns in this game, but I just have a feeling that Baker is going to do something special in this game, and I think they ended up winning in overtime. The other defensive rookie of the year guy I took that... Um, let's see, at 7-4... So let's make this our last full game of offense. We have one more division game, and then we'll sim out the rest of the year. This is a tough, fun game of offense to play here. Um, but the other defensive rookie of the year guy I liked, I mean, Devin Bush is a good pick, certainly. And maybe this is a homer pick, but uh, Darnell Savage because he's a guy that he might get burnt in coverage a few times, but that's not something that's really going to get voted on in defensive rookie of the year. Savage is a guy that could have five picks and 65 tackles and just kind of win it off of that. And he's 25 to 1. He was like eighth or ninth on the on the list. Yeah, D Darnell Savage, underrated player. I had him as like my 16th player on my draft board, I think. Let me pull that up. What, where did I have him? Big board. Darnell Savage was 17th overall player. Some people thought it was a reach, but that dude is... He is very Eddie Jackson-esque. I mean, his tape is super good. He's young. He's like 21 years old. You know who he is? He's the um, he's the defensive version of DJ Moore <laughs> coming out of Maryland. See that coming. And Dominic and Sue. Back in the NFC North, huh?
who fell too far, the Derwin James of the year. Uh, I don't know if there was a Derwin James this year. Maybe Andre Dillard for the Eagles. If it has to be a first-round pick, I'll go with him. Otherwise, Gree Williams or um, DK Metcalf in the second round. But my first answer is Andre Dillard. Jeez, that 26 was fast. I mean, Ed Oliver was still a top-10 pick, though, and a lot of people kind of knew because of the undersized thing the undersized thing because NFL teams still put weight in that. Most people kind of knew Ed Oliver wasn't going to be a top five pick. I would have considered him at three for the Jets, but... And if not three, I definitely would have taken him if I was... Well, I mean, the Raiders kind of have interior guys, I guess, but... You guys know very well that I thought Ed Oliver was a top three talent in that class. Yeah, Byron Murphy's another one. And Oliver could end up the best defensive player in this class. And Oliver is the highest ceiling of any defensive player in that class, I thought. Especially with his landing spot, he's going to be so good in Buffalo. I have a lot of confidence in what he's going to be able to do there. Especially with that void being filled by... Um... Oh, Isabella, let's go. With that void being filled by Kyle Williams retiring. That was a huge play right there, by the way. Could be like Clowney MacDonald. Were they all in the same year? The only thing I think is Clowney is Rashawn Gary. I don't think there is a Khalil Mack. The thing is, Mack and Donald are. the two best probably players in the NFL right now. I don't know if we get that out of this class. Oh, let's go, DJ. Josh Allen is not Khalil Mack. I've said it at least 15 times that I've never understood the Josh Allen Khalil Mack comparisons because Khalil Mack has a power element to him. Josh Allen has no power element to him at all. Josh Allen is all speed. I still think, speaking of Khalil Mack, wow. I still think Rashawn Gary is going to have a much better career than Josh Allen. Funny thing is, both those guys are like the third edge rushers on their roster. But I love how, do you guys remember, like, the entire conversation about my Rashawn Gary thing was like, he is not an internal defensive line. Like, he is an edge rusher that you might play inside 
And then he gets to Green Bay, who runs a 3-4, and he's playing outside linebacker. Like, <laughs> so many people were like, no, he needs to gain weight and be a defensive tackle. Like, come on now. unblocked you might consider blocking Khalil Mack guys exactly he was so much better than his stats indicated like there's a reason he was voted all team Big Ten despite three sacks oh my god I expect too much NFL knowledge from people. Yeah, you're probably right. Most people just look at the three sacks and just jump to the conclusion that he wasn't very good. That was a dumb throw. I don't know why I tried that. Would I have paid Preston Smith and Zadarius Smith in hindsight? Um, honestly, yeah. I think the pass rush has been so bad on the edge there for years. They had to get through the Nick Perry thing. Clay Matthews had to go. You had no guarantee that you were going to get Rashawn Gary in the draft. Jeez. I don't think the Packers, if you would have asked them in, when, when is free agency, April? If you would have asked them in, no, March. If you asked them in March, if they thought that they were going to be able to get Rashawn Gary at pick 12, I think they would have said, no freaking way do we get Rashawn Gary. I don't think it's Gary is the Derwin James because like as high as I am on Gary I don't think it's an obvious it's not as obvious that he's going to be good as it was with Derwin I think everyone just kind of knew that Derwin was a top 5 player in that class I actually don't know anyone that, like, <laughs> other than apparently NFL GMs that didn't thank Derwin James. That was also a weird... Oh, wow. That was also a weird offseason. I played Grimey in the wild card of 19.5. Great. Um, it was a weird offseason because do you guys remember like no safeties were getting paid and I think that was reflected in the draft with um oh wait we didn't complete that I think that was also a reflection in the draft of Derwin falling like for some reason the NFL just did not value safeties that offseason and then it totally flipped the next year and I think Der what Derwin James did as a, a good safety like totally changed that and you had Eddie Jackson and his performance for the Bears. Even Jamal Adams for the Jets. Yeah, Minka over Minka over Derwin James was a head scratcher. Although I did like Minka, and he's still gonna be a good player.
Especially with Derwin coming from Florida. Like... Isabel, we gotta send you deep, buddy. Let's call timeout. I'm just surprised Kylie got rid of that ball. Why am I so mad at Dak? I'm mad at Dak? I feel like I'm, at this point, higher on Dak, even though after his rookie year I told everyone to chill out. I was not aware that I was mad at Dak. <laughs> right. Dolphins, Darth Collin, are definitely the toughest rebuild. We kind of just screwed this up going hurry up. I guess we're just going for it. Oh god, what was that? Three picks. Oh, you weren't talking to me about Dak. All good. Ugh, three first half picks. Still winning though. Good blocking. <laughs> someone calls out Watson for taking sacks, and then someone says Matty Ice has entered the chat. That's pretty good. Oh, come on, Kyler. Tyreek, gosh, I hope this four-game suspension is true for Tyreek Hill because I really want to have them for the Chiefs next year. Lamar rushing for 2,000? Are you kidding me? Let's get him into 1,000 before we say he's going to rush for 2,000. That's, That's ridiculous. <laughs> Lamar, Lamar Jackson is not going to stay healthy if he runs... Shoo, the ball that much. I left the Packers because I've been them for two years in a row and just 
felt it was time for a little change is all. Good blocking. Once we get to the playoffs, we definitely need to remember to run the ball more. We have a really good run blocking line. And David Johnson. <laughs> I'm super excited for the, the Madden 20 League. Especially excited to make more content for it too. Well, the, the gambler trait won't be as overpowered in an online league at least. But yeah, against computers it is. Field goal range. Take a shot. Oh, God. Oh, man. Hang in there, Brandon. We'll be in the playoffs soon. Can't leave that. Oh my god, Eddie Jackson is ridiculous. Four pick game for our MVP. Just man to man coverage on Tyree Kill on an in route. Unbelievable. God, now it's tied up.
I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the hot route abilities for Madden 20. It's a great way to add value to pocket passing quarterbacks. Anything dropping tomorrow? I cannot confirm. I'm going to try to work on something. I don't know if anything's coming out tomorrow, though. We'll see. It's all going to depend on how early I get up. If I get up early enough, I might be able to crank out a deep dive. We'll see. I probably wouldn't upload back-to-back -back deep dives. What's more likely is I... Oh, we couldn't catch that? Really? What's more likely is I wake up and record... Um, Broncos stuff. I can't listen to Move the Sticks, Emo, dude. I can't do it anymore. Those guys, I've never heard Bucky Brooks or... I mean, Daniel Jeremiah is great, but I've never heard Bucky Brooks say a negative word about a single player. I can't stand it. He is the biggest kiss-ass to everyone in the NFL. He's never shared an opinion, in my opinion. I can't sit... I can't listen to him sit there and be positive about everyone in the NFL and defend everybody and never have an opinion for an hour. Like, I just can't do it. It's so painful. Okay, I'm, I'm ripping Daniel, or uh, not Daniel Jeremiah, Bucky Brooks. I had to stop listening to that podcast. I, have to, I had to stop listening to the Stick to Football podcast as well. Because that mellow dude is an absolute moron. <laughs> can't listen to him anymore so I'm down two podcasts at least the ringer NFL show will be back soon whose opinion do I respect the most in the NFL media Robert Mays that's not really all that close What do they say about Andy Isabella, emo dude? And is it him or is it Daniel Jeremiah? Is that an actual thing? Inside the Giants with Dave Gettleman. Pretty sure that's a joke. There you go, DJ. Strong opinion sports. I have not heard of them. Adam Silver make a better NFL commissioner than Goodell. I think Goodell gets a bad rap. I don't. I've never fully understood the hate for Roger Goodell. I 
I've never fully understood what it is that Roger Goodell really does that is such a bad job. Like, the NFL ratings are through the absolute roof. The salary cap has only gone up about $10 million a year since he took over. It was not doing that before he was there. Um, he's lightened up on celebrations. He has now changed the ability to review plays. I mean, what botched suspensions other than Tom Brady? That's what I don't understand. I mean, Zeke ripped a girl's shirt off in public. You're telling me you're not going to suspend him? He Zeke was completely innocent of the other stuff, but he ripped a woman's shirt off in public, and he's one of the star players of the NFL. I would have done the exact same thing. I would have suspended his ass. Maybe even more than what Roger Goodell did. Like, dude, grow up. There's a video of it. Like, that's not an accusation. I've literally seen him. <laughs> I would have suspended him a whole season. That's absolutely ridiculous for what he did. No, Aiken, that's not what the suspension was for, but you can. when you're the commissioner of the NFL, you're in charge of upholding your your the brand of the NFL. What's up, Mr. Freezy? And when there's hard evidence <laughs> of you doing that, you can suspend people for whatever you want. Well, that's interesting that that was their opinion on Daniel Jeremiah. Also, I think Ray Rice got the suspension he deserved. I would have suspended him for a year. And it's not like he banned Ray Rice from the NFL. No one just, just nobody wanted him back. Depends on your definition of cut, Lucas. I don't think DK Metcalf can cut backwards, but he can cut on like a post. So we got the Rams next week. This is going to be our last pledge of this regular season, then we'll sim to the playoffs. Oh, they're 9-3. and three. This is probably for the division here, so we got to win this. <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. All right, play the moments. So after this, we will get to the playoffs. I don't know if we're going to have much player reviewing to do. Our team's pretty loaded at this point. I'm having a pretty good day, Mr. Freezy. Went out on the lake, enjoyed the sun. Uh, we don't want to play this. Defense breaks. Come on, down 10 nothing. Here we go. Although maybe we should trust this because we're on the five. All right, they got it in. Held no field goal. Good job. Computer, there you go.
Oh, we haven't even played yet. Uh, oh, geez, slow down. Here we go. We got to take over here. Fourth down. All fourth quarter here. There you go. Let's go hurry up. I know, I am so excited. Today actually was the first day that kind of hit me that the NFL is so close. Some little itching feeling that just kind of hit me. Maybe it was because I made bets last night. Nice catch. Yeah, Raiders will be a fun Hard Knocks team. Gruden, Mayock, Antonio Brown. It's a good trio. Player, coach, GM. Oh, that's a touchdown all day. Let's go. I'll be there, Mr. Freezy. Oh no, we missed it. Yikes. Was distracted thinking about Bears Packers in the opener. All right. We're getting the ball back. Let's just play this drive. Yeah, Derek Carr low-key, not much of a personality. Oh, this sucks, man. This If we would have just made that extra point, this field goal would get us the win. Oh, when does All or Nothing come out? And it's officially the Panthers? That's going to be a really good one because they were the Panthers were just absolutely rolling and then Cam got hurt. So that'll be interesting to see how the locker room changed. Yeah, all or nothing's better than hard knocks. It's a, it's more of a football oriented look. But can someone look up the all or nothing release date? Drive's going well so far. Wait, August 17th for All or Nothing? Yeah, that can't be right. July 19th. That's much more like it. That's so long from now. I was going to say, maybe I can wait to binge that before I do my Panthers deep dive, but I'll be almost done with the series by July 19th. Because that would certainly provide some extra analysis for whenever that deep dive is coming.
Oh, man. I guess they're not going to call a timeout. So tempting to go for it, but all right, we got the ball in overtime. Let's do it. Maybe we can just put the dagger in right away. Now nah, let's run it. It's a good look. Oh no. I did tweet that I bet on the Eagles to win the Super Bowl. Gosh, both those guys were just standing there. Dante Fowler came in so close. But yeah, my official Super Bowl prediction will come in right before the season starts. I always do my prediction video, so you'll get it then. Yeah, I'll probably check out the NCAA mod. I'm going to call time out here. Last year I picked the Saints, I believe. I think it was the Saints last year. Saints over the Patriots, which was a pass interference call away from happening, I think. Or maybe I picked the Chargers to go. I can't remember. I know I picked the Saints to win it. And then before the playoffs started, I picked the Rams to win it. So I didn't do too bad. I think I picked the Patriots preseason and then picked the Chargers postseason. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. I'm like 99% sure that preseason I picked Saints Patriots. That was Rodgers-esque right there by Kyler with the game on the line. What a play. Good job, Tyreek. Way to go get open. Yeah, you were right, man. The Chargers were not in a position to beat the Patriots. I did not anticipate the Patriots just running through the Chargers. To my credit, Tom Brady did nothing in the playoffs other than one drive against the Chiefs. Tom Brady was legitimately bad in the Super Bowl against the Rams. Literally walked into another ring. Ball game. Did you watch the games, Aiken? They just ran over everyone.
All right, well, speaking of Super Bowl, we should have just clinched a first round bye, I think, with that. I think I'm actually just going to sim to the playoffs here. We finished 13 and 3. Kyler Murray wins NFL MVP. The Browns go 16 and 0. Hugh Jackson, coach of the year. Kyler NFC offensive defensive player of the year to Von Miller. Best quarterback Kyler, Tyree Kill. We have the two best wide receivers. Zach Allen finishes up there. Von Miller gets best linebacker, winning it over. Well, I guess Khalil Mack was second. Jamal Adams in the conversation for D-back. We actually, we actually won best kicker. Let's see. Oh, man, we got upgrades for days here. What a year for Kyler. I mean, he had everything in place to do it. A big surprise is the lack of interceptions from our defense. So I think for what we're going to do is... For our first game, we'll have three games we need to win. Our first game, we get five play the moments, a maximum of two full drives. We'll get for our second game, we'll get four play the moments, a maximum of one full drive. For the Super Bowl, we'll go three, maximum of one. You're leaving Hook'em, you're not gonna find out who wins the Super Bowl. You don't have 25 more minutes in ya? Jeez, look at all these upgrades. Let's see, do we get any kick power boosts for this guy? goes up to star I feel like we should just make him or wait he went all the way up to superstar how did that happen did he go up two developments what the heck is that what's going on there he was quick I'm not complaining about it but I think it's safe, safe to say that Kyler is officially a cheat code. Oh, interesting. As you should. If you win MVP, you should be Superstar. Andy Isabella is up to Superstar.
What non-sports game am, am I going to play? Great question. Jeez, Harvey Subtle makes it as a rookie. I think I'm going to play Red Dead. That just sounds fun. Either that or I'm going to give Fallout 76 a try with the uh, the bet new Battle Royale, but I don't know about that. Wow, Adams went up to Superstar. I have never played Minecraft, guys. Not once. Ooh, OJ Howard made the Pro Bowl for us. We're gonna have to re-sign him, he was good. Yeah, I'll start with Red Dead. Everyone seems pretty excited about that. And I've never played it. Not the new one, at least. So that'll, that'll be fun. Yeah, I've never played Minecraft. Not once. Okay, here we go. On to next week. Can we finally get that Super Bowl? We're gonna go blackouts. I gotta actually focus so we can get this Super Bowl ring. Red zone. Oh, we're on the one. Let's not waste this. I would think we can get this in. There you go. Tie game. Here we go. Uh, I just went through that, Lucas. We're doing five play the moments, then four, and then three. Assuming we win. <laughs> Ron Rivera is the head coach of the Eagles. Next week I'll be doing a uh, playing my girlfriend in Madden that'll be pretty funny. I'm going to give her a 99 overall roster and see if I can beat her with like a 20 overall. What a play. Thank you Tyreek. Alright, one for one. So... Uh, it's just third and inches. Let's not. Oh, they score. And then we go down and score. Let's play here. A little red zone opportunity. Well, I'm going to do a custom roster. I'm going to make it even more exaggerated than Dolphins versus Legends. Oh, gosh, we held. What I'll probably do is I'll make all of my least favorite NFL players like zero overalls. Well, that was a failed opportunity.
two minute drill. Let's do it. Got plenty of time. DJ. Well, Kyler's not disappointing in his uh, MVP playoff debut. I'll give her a 99 overall, not Lamar Jackson at running back. Oh no, we were past the line of scrimmage, dang. Giving up, we can get this. Just like that. Oh, he dropped it. No. Shoot. Please don't score. We have two play the moments left. Um, let's trust it. Okay, good. They got it in. We're looking pretty good. Up two scores in the fourth. Oh, boy. They have the ball. Let's trust it. Oh, man. They got it. Okay, we got to play this. Wow, this is an epic game. Come on, I don't want to lose in the first round. Gosh, you'd think we'd have to be able to run the ball a little better. Oh, they have Deion Jones. Wow. You guys want me to play the rest of the game? I don't know if we'll need to. I guess if we score, we then play defense, so. We're still within our rules if we do that. We may be able to just chew this clock down. Alright, fine, I get it, guys. I'll play the rest of the game. <laughs> ah. I was having a good day. Touchdown. Nice thing is we have all our timeouts, so if they score, we'll still be able to get the ball. And Big two-point conversion here. Oh, Kyler just missed.
missed that. <laughs> that was almost awful. Is Von Miller hurt? Oh, we don't have him in base in this package. That's right. Defense is so good. Dang, completed that. His pass rush to get in there. Come on, boys. There we go. That's a big play right there. Aggressive. A sack would be huge here. Get him out of field goal range. Oh, let's go, Deontay Thompson. Ball game, baby. Way to jump that thing. What a play. And we pick up a follow on the clutch play. Let's go. Yeah, I think that's a contract extension for Deontay Thompson right there. All right, we're on to the NFC Championship, boys. So we get four play the moments and one full drive now. Oh boy, lots of upgrades. Let me go back to those. Yeol overpowered speed rush. This would be a pretty nice, uh, I'm not going to call it a send off for this season. I'm not ruling out coming back to this series, but it would certainly be a pause with the Super Bowl because I do want to start that Red Dead stream very soon. So we play the Panthers. Let's get a look at their team. Deshaun Watson is on the Panthers. Okay. Still have Christian McCaffrey, DJ Moore, Chris Leach. Keekly still got it. Okay. I am not streaming again tonight. No, I will be going to 
Uh, I got Kyler Murray's face. It's not actually him. It's a different player that just looks like him who happened to be a rookie, so I overwrote him to get that face. It's the tricks you get when you're a vetted community roster editor. auto that one okay here we go I think I need another sip of coffee that was big to get that win because we we were three for five in our moments like we didn't really do our best <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't know when I'll start my Red Dead stream. I still have to buy the game. Okay, off the bat. Red zone alert. First down, let's do it. Couldn't run the ball last week, can't run the ball here. I'm gonna try it again. Oh, he was in the process of getting pancaked and he gets into an animation to make a tackle. God, this game is cheeks. Shift God. Oh, oh God, we get sacked. Well, that was disappointing. A wise man once said, Good run D varies. Yep, you're right. I'm teaching you guys well. That said, K1 Short's a monster. All right, let's uh, let's actually play this red zone look. So maybe we get a pick or keep the score down here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why is our left tackle in an edge rusher? Are you kidding me? What a joke! Let's go. Make sure to spy on. There we go. Zach Allen. Zach Allen. I think we go right back to that call right there. There we go. Great freaking defense. Let's go.
was a big hold after the they landed on the one yard line on the in route by DJ Moore. Defense needs to stop. Second down. Let's trust it. Oh, they get in. Two minute drill. Here we go. This is our drive. Kylo's got to turn it on here. Oh my god, what a play. That little flip of the wrist, that was nice. This is four down territory, in my opinion. Way to hold on to it, Hill. It's not easy. in Howard oh. we have time for one quick pass into the end zone Just like that. Beautiful throw on the low point. Let's go. What a drive. Uh, red zone. Let's do it. We're two for two so far. We're Our computer's not done great, but we... Uh, Was the right read I just it didn't come open in time let's go three for three let's see if we put our computer in a position where they can succeed now. Oh, man. Let's skip this, right? They take the lead. Okay, here we go. Let's play this. Let's. We got the last drive of the game.
Things are looking good. Let's let this clock run as much as we can. Yeah, this team is ridiculous expired. Okay, we got a pass for the first down. That's about all she wrote right there. Pretty clutch. conservative ball carrier on sometimes I'll think about it but with a guy like David Johnson I tend to just trust it you know play left if we can get a first they have Earl Thomas too jeez this team is sweet what a play let's go that's ball game I think the Jags will pay Jalen Ramsey whatever he wants. Wow, they went down and scored a touchdown, so that was big. Yeah, we're taking on the undefeated Cleveland Browns in the Super Bowl. A couple of teams that have come a long way, the Browns and the Cardinals. Tyler was pretty much perfect. Sack Allen, two sacks. upgrade wow lots of upgrades I'll wait till we do our last week of training here in the Super Bowl galore
Ooh, a speed boost for Deontay Thompson. He's definitely getting that contract boost. All right. Let's see this Browns roster. Let's see this undefeated Browns roster. Jeez. Baker's a 93. Chubb's a 96. Okay, we can attack that right tackle position. We have Miles Jack. Jeez, they signed a Dory Jackson. Look at these corners. You want to talk about a dream team? We're going to struggle in this matchup, you guys, against those corners. They're going to be able to neutralize our speed advantage. That's going to be tough. Jeez, what a dream. We're still a better overall, though. Get your popcorn ready. It's the Super Bowl. Cowboys Stadium. We've actually followed our rules so far, too, to get here. We'll see if we abide by that or not. Yeah, I probably will if it's a close game, but we'll see. Um, let's, let's skip ahead. Let's trust it. Let's go. We're on the board. Defense is showing up for this one. All right, we're up two scores. Field goal. Again, we're playing well. Uh, Two-minute drill. Let's do it. We can go up 17 points here. Looks like a cover three. Come on, let's go. Brian 38. Brian 38. Oh my god, Miles Garrett. Right, that's Olivier Vernon just roasting us. That's not a good start. First down. That's a good idea, screens to offset the pass rush. <coughs> well, didn't work there.
Let's go. Take a shot to Tyreek. Always oh, kind of got him. Get there. Oh, he didn't get his feet down. Oh. Damn. I wasn't sure if I should possession or aggressive catch that one. Alright, that's the perfect play there. Just throw it high and far. So we got points. That was our first moment. Red zone opportunity. We're right back in it. Two touchdown lead going in half is pretty good. Yeah, don't tell Matt Ryan that. This is definitely four down territory. We're just going to run it. Touchdown. Let's go. Looking good. This thing's over. Let's just let's just play this for good measure. Fourth and twelve. Let's put this game away. It's gonna go to the two-minute warning. Super Bowl champs, baby. In what just might be the end of the series. We did four years. We might come back. But Madden 20 comes out in a month. We want to get through Red Dead by then. So if that's going to happen, I don't think we can really do much more on this series. Who knows, though? If you guys all desperately want it, we might come back. But that's it. Super Bowl champs, that's going to do it for this stream. Have a good night, guys. Have a good weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you follow me at TFG Plays on Twitter so you can stay up to date on all my stream stuff. And that's it. We'll uh, probably be back with, I mean, we're going to have more um, 
online league games. We've got a TFGO 19.5 game coming up against Grimy, who we can never beat. Um, but, yeah, we'll have Red Dead soon. So we'll see you guys for that. Peace out.